Maybe. Hello, welcome to TFYLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and I am joined tonight by Christian and Anna. What up? Good evening. Oh, my finger just like bit the dust here. There we go. Chomp. <laughs> Hello, everyone. What bit the dust? Your figure? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he just I fell over. The, the instant replay. <clears throat> Yeah, there you go. Apparently, bird is the word, so. If anyone doesn't know, we have a delay w watching our own stream, so I only see what happens to Lucas a few seconds later. There we go. That's why it's important to mute that, so. Anyway, uh, so tonight we are doing the best Beast Wars female character. Um, but Anna doesn't have it, so, you know. What can you do? Ha, 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 ha. Very funny. We are... So we're actually doing Eraser tonight, but both of these guys were like, hey, we, we're just going to do all the women at one time because we should just put them in the same category because they're women. Yes, so both of us said exactly those words right it, after it was Yes, a hundred... Like that. A hundred percent. That's exactly the what we did. The dismissive point is, is necessary. No, Anna yeah, wanted to do that. wave... Is this wave two, right? And we said, wait, we haven't done all of wave one yet. We need to do some, you know, wave one still. But the um, reason for that is because of something that I was going to note tonight. This is my first Beast Wars character from this entire line. That's crazy. Yeah, How? I haven't got what? any of them other than her. I mean, I got... I've gotten the fossilizers, but that's it, and they're not. It's like the know, worst of the line. Wars. No primal. No, no primal. Ratrap. No Megatron. No Rat Trap. No um, Dinobot. No Cheetor. Aries is the first one. You it's masterpiece bizarre. elitist. Only characters I don't have. Yep. Yep. So far, every other. Beast Wars character we've gotten has had a masterpiece representation. And I have them. Not Air Razor. Not Air Razor. And I have a feeling that Air Razor would be pretty low on the list of masterpiece figures. I could be wrong. They are doing, or they just did Tigatron. Maybe they'll do Air Razor. I don't know. Yeah, they go together. So do we want to do Bird or Spider first? Spider's older, Burb. Bird is better. It's oh, whatever. Burb. Burb. All right. So we have Aries She's in burb. robot mode right there. She comes packaged in robot mode, of course, like everything does these days. So you have to fold her into a bird the first time. She looks really good for the top. She does. And you know what? The bird transformers have always gotten a bad rap on how they look from below. This isn't horrible. I think that's pretty good, honestly. It's fine. Yeah. It folds up. I mean, what thing. what else are you going to ask right. for, honestly? There's, there's nothing else you can do unless you want to just remove half of the body and then, like, hey, look, I got it. But yeah, the, the bird legs look good. She holds her missiles right there on the sides of the legs. And, you know what? She's got arms, but they kind of blend in. And the uh, hands from the arms, that is a cool sentence to say, have a special place to go inside the abdomen so it all locks together. I think it's a pretty successful bird mode. Yeah, you gotta it's not put bad. robot parts somewhere. And uh, this one does it in the best way it possibly can. And I think it pulls it off. Bird from the front. Bird from the side. Yeah, the only other bird way, and the way that I'm sure they do it on an MP, is by having a bunch of collapsible panels that go around and make a bird chest, which would be a nightmare. But I'm sure that's how the MP will be if there ever is one. Yeah. We know how well MP Beast Wars collapsible panels go. <sighs> MP Beast Wars can be <laughs> a real mess. Yeah, her wings, they can flap if you want to. You can pose them like that. You can pose them like that. The uh, outside bits go inside so she can be like roosting like that. Yeah, I like that they fold up in sad Which birdie mode. Needs. Yeah, it has her a pretty fair amount of... A ball I, joint. I was gonna say the the wings have a pretty fair amount of like articulation to them. They do, yeah, for especially wings. for. 
They really do. Look, look down like that. And that yeah, face is good. crazy. Like, that is an upsetting face for people who don't like birds in general, to <laughs> me. Like, I just see that I'm scared. Find birds slightly frightening. I know, it is going to come for me. She's in nice mode right now, not stalky, scary bird mode. Yep, she's a pretty convincing falcon face. Yes. I've seen falcons. They look like yeah. this. It's a good falcon The orange face. feet are accurate. Sometimes they're yellow, but I'll allow out for orange, whatever. It's all fine. Yeah, I think it works pretty well. And, and like, you just had it displayed from the side, Kirsten. Do that again. Like this? Uh, oh yeah, God. but the angle it, no, from the side, with the side of her. There we go. Like, that, if you did it just right, like, for display, you could have a pretty cool-looking bird display from the side, looking oh. up dramatically without really showing many of the robot bits. Which, again, is probably the best we can really ask for. With a um, bird transformer. The sculpted feather patterns are pretty good. And it, it's nice that they have a little paint at the bottom of the wings too. Yeah. You know, I mean that's that's something again on the, that on the bottom side of the wings, yeah. 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 No, the wings look nice. The feathers. I keep pointing to call them scales. The feathers look nice. They feel like scales because they're made of hard plastic. You really wanted to fly hard. Her wings go all the way up like that, too. So all the range of motion, I think, that you would want from wing wings, she does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can't get much movement on the bird legs because of the way they kind of fold up. They're, like, made out of the lower part of her lower legs. So they're a little weird, but they work. Do that and perch. And the ankles are ball jointed for, you know, mileage may vary there. Yeah, Jason in the chat says, I don't think they could have done a better air razor. And I, I agree with that. I, I just, I don't see where there's a lot of complaints on, on this yeah. figure, you know. No, I don't think without nightmarish panel folding, they could really do much better. But they're not going to do that on a twenty. dollars Right, figure. and I'm not so sure that nightmarish panel folding is actually better. <laughs> it's, it's not. It makes it significantly less fun. So I, I'm very happy with how this turned out. No, you know, just like with, she's not a many masterpiece formers. for some reason. <laughs> Rob. Get a, get a bad rap. But uh, both the Jets and Birds lately have been fine. So, yay. <laughs> they feel like skulls and they're made of hard plastic, Randall. That's what I was getting at. They feel like skulls and they're made of hard plastic. Now... It would be really cool if she was covered in feathers. And that, I mean, no, it would not be cool. Wasn't there a rumor at the beginning of the line that they were going to have flocking on the figures? Everything was going to be flocked. Yes, that was really I funny. Hated that. Uh, that might, but could you just imagine how funny it would be to have a little flocked Cheetor standing up on your shelf? <laughs> it would just look ridiculous. Pretty bad. And you would destroy the flocking transforming it, but that's why it didn't happen. In addition to it, it would look weird. Anyway, yes, her bird is pretty cool. It's it's fine. You know, it definitely has its limitations for being a transformer that turns into a bird. But that head, to me, is very, like, I don't... So it's weird for me, because with most of the Beast Wars stuff, I'm agitated that um, they don't have those, like, cute animated animal faces that they had in the cartoon because everybody's faces were so, like, goofy animated in the cartoon that was fun. You know, like, Cheetor made some absolutely preposterous faces that his MP figure comes with, and his um, Keenum figure, you know, doesn't have that range of... doesn't have any expression. He just has an actual cat-looking head. But for Aries, it kind of works for me because I just don't, I don't have as strong of memories of her bird face making fun faces. Might be also because I find birds to be very scary. I don't remember her making preposterous faces either. She wasn't around for a terribly long time. No, not really. Like a while. 
enough. Not a long time. Well, I don't think she had a lot of the, the talky bird faces, but maybe we're wrong. We'll have to rewatch all of these for us to find out. Time to watch there, it anyway. There, there you go. You're going to have a marathon? We, we totally could. Easy because to do I'm in this modern age. Bot mood now. Yay! You transform her by moving parts around until she stands up as a person. It's lots of fun. It's not a bad transformation. It's like, I found the chest a little annoying to wiggle waggle, but I thought it worked pretty well overall. You guys? Yeah, I was going to say it takes a minute to get the chest, you know, just yeah. with the double joint in it. So, but I don't know. I mean, I thought that that was, you know, somewhat interesting uh, personally. It's kind of like uh, the... I don't know, similar transformation to swoop, like all the swoops or whatever, but it's just a little more refined. That's true. I definitely don't think I'll ever get the wings wadded up like they were in the package. Like those and things you shouldn't. were they were they were wadded up incorrectly. They were wadded up immaculately where they were just like absolutely wadded. It was really strange to look at. It was bad. But, you know, now they're on her right and um, my figure and Lucas's figure that we have up for you to see. So, yeah, her robot mode. Like, you know, when you first look at it, of course, you're going to think, wow, this looks a lot like Air Razor. And it does look a lot like Air Razor. It's a very animation looking. Like, I wouldn't say it's perfectly accurate, of course, but it gets really close. I think it gets really dang close for a retail real figure. Dang close. Um, the head I, is perfect. Yeah, the head yes, looks the head great. Is, the head is really cool. Mine has paint errors on it, which are driving me crazy. But the head is really cool. I like the fact that they kept... Because, you know, those um those old mainframe cartoons, they had kind of hideous faces. Like, they, they did not make very nice-looking faces for people. And she kind of kept that, like, really severe bone structure on her face that, you know, is reflective of that era of CG cartoons. I thought that was cool because a lot of fan art I see for Air Razor, like, makes her face, you know, more aesthetically pleasing and cutesy. But this just kind of kept that severe look, which I like. It gives you a little more variety. That was just a personal observation. That's a cool observation. I do like it. I think that, you know, the paint's cool on it the details are cool on it mine unfortunately they kind of blotched at the paint on her little beard so it goes off of the extended part which makes it look more like a beard which is mm. not exactly beautiful but yeah mine seems like it's fine I, I would say I would you know I'd touch it up but finding that perfect metallic purple to touch it up might be a little bit hard so I probably have to deal with that. But yeah, I think it's a neat face. It, it it looks significantly different depending on how you angle it. So it's a fun thing to look at. And it's pretty accurate. It's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I think if you wanted to see an eraser walk off the screen and into your collection, here she is. Pretty close, yeah. yeah. So my one complaint a little bit is the bird feet. It's kind of s similar to Rat Trap. It has a little more articulation than what Rat Trap does, but like there's not much side to side. Um, and I don't know if it's just a limitation of the way that they do it. I kind of wish that there was more of a um, like more of a rocker side to side. I mean, you can still get a little bit. It's just not. You know, the, like the front to back, is, there's a lot more articulation, but side to side, there's not a lot. I agree 100%. Like, I could not quite pose her angles enough that it made me happy, but I pose them enough that it works for me. Like, I wish they could pose more, but they can't. And that that's really okay. They're not completely static. You can move them around. I do kind of worry that if we transform her a lot, eventually these, like, weird extra joints in her lower legs are going to get to the point where they always want to do that which i don't know but i mean they're little. pretty mine's pretty tight i don't I, i'm not too worried one of but... mine this one moves around a lot so i worry about this one oh, okay 
this one's still pretty tight, but the other one moves around quite a bit. So, you know, since I will mess with it a lot, it might wear out on me. But I probably won't transform it a lot because I just don't, I don't like birds. They're scary. Have you ever seen the movie The Birds, Anna? I I have. I've also been pooped on by a lot of birds and dive bombed by a lot of birds. And I grew wow. up with a pet bird, so I have a lot of reasons to dislike birds. Interesting. Yep, yep. I have a history. I have a bird history. Very. I've been pooped on by a bird. I was gonna say oh. you have more of a bird history than I do. So. Yeah, I've I've, I've definitely been bird targeted. <laughs> Birds don't like me. Anyway, I will agree with Jason in the chat that actually, yeah, it is kind of it is a little scary to put the wings in the right orientation the first time just because finding out where you should and should not fold them. Because, you know, it feels like one of those things where if you push the joints in the wrong direction, you're going to hear a nice, crunchy snap sound. So that is a little worrisome the first time. I think it's comfortable now. But definitely, you know, the wings can be a little fidgety. Just, you know, be careful with them and nice to them. Once you get her done, she comes out with a lot of articulation overall. You know, like she is, she has those shallow ankles. And she's missing wrist. She doesn't have wrist swivels. She just has the kind of strange, you know, you can articulate this part of the wrist that doesn't actually move on a person. Um, to kind of approximate a little bit of a, a wrist movement, but it doesn't work as well as it does in the RC mold for approximating wrist movement. But other than that, she has the waist swivel. Her head moves fine. Legs are good articulated. Arms are good articulated. I wouldn't really complain too much about the articulation. Put her back on my pole stand. And she can fly, as you can see. Yeah, Christian uh, and I were talking about stands right before this. And an interesting factoid is, you know, he has her on a pole stand that only has the little claw that grabs their waist. Yeah. So that works pretty well. But like a lot of recent figures that are supposed to be flying characters, she actually does have a peg pre-installed that would be for a stand, but it's under her tail feathers in the back. So it would be kind of hard to get a stand in there if you did have one with a peg. But if you did, you know, I prefer that look to having a claw around my figures. Not the biggest complaint because most of you probably are going to put her on a stand. Probably not. But my maximal display is pretty small, so she can fit in there almost. Minus two. And yes, we have a visitor in the chat who said that theirs was broken out of the box, and that is very sad. That is sad. That See you in retail bummer. to get a replacement for that. Yep. Definitely. Yeah, that's one thing that's tough with Pulse. Like, I think if you if uh, a figure is broken from them, I guess you have to like ship it back yourself. Is that the yep. way it works? Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Yeah, that's the thing with the face for me. Because if I was like, if I was like in a position, a certain friend of mine has been in a few times where I look at the face and I go, it's not so great. I go back to Walmart and exchange it. That would be a little bit different. But I don't think I can really do that in this case since I got her from Pulse. So yeah. I have to just kind of deal with that face. And like I said, it's not like she is a character with a white face or a silver face. She has a metallic purple face. So fixing that error would be a little trickier. Yeah, a little trickier. that's annoying. I don't keep metallic purple around. <laughs> Maybe I should. Maybe this is Maybe the this is the moment. Why don't me. you keep metallic purple around, Anna? I know. Jeez. I know. This is your wake up call. Mm hmm. She does have a a panel like a like a skirt panel that does keep her legs from going directly out straight, but it's not bad at all. Like, when I first saw it, I was like, uh-oh, is that going to keep me from moving her the way I want her to? And it doesn't. I worry about the strangest things. Yeah, I don't think I've ever wanted to kick a Transformer's leg straight out like that. Oh, can I mention the strangest thing? Ah, I can't move her hand. You can't, you can't even get it on camera there. There we go. Here we go. If you look, you can look straight through the hole in her leg. This isn't a complaint. I'm not complaining that it's there. I just think it's really weird 
Like it's kind of that eerie thing of having a leg a part or a hole that goes all the way through her leg like that. I could just sure. like her friends would pick on her and look through the leg hole and be like, oh, I could see your other leg. Ha ha ha. It's, it's we're, strange to me. Whereas at Christian, I didn't even notice. So Anna said something. I so I didn't even notice. Oh, well, that was one of the first things I noticed out of the box is that she has these weird holes in her legs. They're used in transformation. Both both sides of the hole are in fact used. The the side inside is used to peg something, and then the side on the outside is used to peg in the cannon missile doohickeys. So technically, you know, it was a useful move to leave the hole all the way through. I'm sure they figured that was easier than putting a thin piece of plastic in the middle. But at the same time, you end up with a strange thing where you can see straight through her legs. This is weird. Like, I don't think it's bad. I think it's just odd. <laughs> so, definitely go get her. She's fantastic. She's really I'm good. excited to see what they do with her, her mold later. We kind of heard a rumor a couple months ago that this was going to be Beast Wars Skywarp. Um, the eagle character from Beast Wars 2... Neo two two, maybe it would look you know brown and white instead of brown and orange. I, I don't know if that's a good idea. We've also heard that this is the basis for Pterosaur. I'm excited to see how that turns out. It seems like a logical choice. About the same size, they're, they would transform in similar ways. So yay, we'll have Pterosaur to see. Pterosaur has really skinny legs too, so it would actually yeah. like they wouldn't have to do as much remolding as you would think. Yeah, they switch out all the bird parts for Pterodon parts. Otherwise, kind of similar. Yeah. Yeah, they might even actually use the same legs since they went for the robotic legs instead of... You think that's why they went with the robotic legs instead of bird-like legs? So they could be universal? It's just like her legs, so I'm not sure. Well, we'll see. We'll see what they do. If if Pterosaur is even a remold of her. We don't actually know that. No, we don't know that. But right. I, it's a good bet, I think. I personally like to turn her feet around backwards. Because I like it better with bird feet. In robot mode. I think that's fair for Beast Wars. I just think it looks better not to have the, the, the bigger foot. The bigger part of the foot and back looks strange to me. It looks backwards. So I turn them around. I know that's inaccurate. I don't care. <laughs> I think it looks better. Okay. Your it's choice. a Beast Wars character. They have monster feet sometimes. Sometimes. They do whatever they want. Yeah, she looks good. And I hadn't realized that this is our <laughs> first air razor in 18 years. Is it? a good like, amount of time in between. Quit the break. Well, she's a good return. Armada. She's a good return yes. to Air Razor. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think we could have asked for a more perfect Air Razor, especially at this price point. I, I'm very happy yeah. with her. Definitely go pick her up. She belongs with your Maximals. Go, go get her now. Like, yeah, it really bugged yeah. me back in original Beast Wars. I thought the original Air Razor toy looked nothing like her, and it actually does. But the face was just completely off. And this one has the right face, so I like it. <laughs> so I'm happy. It's good to see, even when you were younger, that you were annoyed by faces. In the oh family. my goodness, I was even worse, because the faces were way far off on the first set of Beast Wars figures. They were all over the damn place. They got better as the series went, but it did get gravy. Hey, it could be worse. could be like Ratchet and Ironhide, where they don't even have a head, so... <laughs> In some cases, they might have been better off without them. That was a little so, severe. So yeah, so now the uh, the other fa- so like for the air razor, I would I'd recommend her. Like if you're looking for an air 100%. razor, yeah, no I think the color the colors are really nice. Like it's a nice looking figure. So yeah, she's a nice looking transformer. Yeah, do it for sure. And if you don't so, know who Eraser is, learn. L- learn. Go watch Beast Wars. Tr- truly, truly learn. So, but uh, but yeah, so uh, Black Arachnia. Um, what do you think? So I got mine in spider mode here. I got mine um, in which, 
it wasn't horrible getting it to spider mode, which I don't know, Anna, uh, if you could transform your masterpiece, uh, Black Arachnia, live on screen. Then... Let me get started on that. I'll be with you in about a ball. <laughs> so I don't yeah, have I that was... Black Arachnia they're talking about tonight. I'll just be like holding my masterpiece one. <laughs> I was pretty impressed with this transformation, the one on the kingdom one, yeah. especially after the masterpiece was the way it was. Like that one was so bad when I bought mine, I, I didn't even take it out of the box. I immediately just sold it on to Peter because he hadn't ordered one for some reason. So I got rid of her as quick as I could. I didn't even take her out of my mailer. Like that's how bad it was. But this one, you know, Lucas, if you can show kind of just a, a rotational view she folds up pretty well. I mean, you can see that her knees are right there in the front, but like, I mean, it's not, whatever, it's man. not horrible. It looks great. like it's not, it's not that it's, bad. No, it's not as skull face would say. It's not hateful at all. She folds up compactly, you know, like Unicron, she has to turn into a ball essentially. And then she's got legs on the side and she does that. I, in a way that I never really thought would happen. And she manages to still be, reasonably accurate to her uh, TV show Beast Moon. Yeah, it's reasonable. I, I would say, you know, as someone who owns the Masterpiece figure, I would rather <coughs> have a less accurate spider mode that I would actually want to make than the spider mode I do have. Because the spider mode I do have is good. I so far have not managed to get it back to spider mode fully where it actually looks as good. <laughs> Is it the first time? So I think that yeah. one definitely has its merits. So the spider mode, like the articulation of the legs, is is pretty good. Like um, it has little ball joints. Um, so the the parts that go to the arms, like, are not uh, individually articulated. It's just like one piece. Um, but the outside legs, um, you know, they they articulate. They're on like little ball joints or whatever. So I mean, I, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it's definitely good enough. My one complaint um, for the weapon storage is I'm having a hard time actually plugging in the the gun to where to make it stay. And so I don't know if I just need to dab a little bit of future in there just to, um, you know. But like, I it keeps falling out on me because it like it attaches down there. But it's like if I, of course, now it's not going to fall out. But, like, you know, if I knock it or whatever, like, a little bit, it'll fall out. And like, if I articulate the legs. Oh, there we go. I can see that. But not horrible. So. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yep. Yeah. And again, transformation's pretty interesting. So. And she transforms into this. Which, again, mm. like with Air Razor, if you wanted a character model to walk out of the show and join your collection, here she is. Like, this is pretty dang accurate. I'm, I'm really impressed. It is really being accurate. I have to say, honestly, I have a little bit of regret that I didn't wait for that. Because now that I have the MP, I don't want to get rid of it. Because I have a pretty a pretty big Beast Wars MP collection. I have most of them. So I don't really want to get rid of her. But when I see that, I'm like, I would have been totally satisfied. If that had come out first and the MP second, there's no way I would have bought the MP. Yeah, I'm not, not buying the MP now. But uh, here's her head. And again, it's super accurate. Good face. You know, it captures her kind of her black-eyed stare where she's like evil but not, but mischievous. Anyway, she is wonderful. What I really like is her hands. You know, a lot of times the black arachnia claws get like huge or they are missing paint or you know, they're just not quite right. These are perfect. Look at that. All stripy, perfect size, wonderful. Uh, she can do... I thought she could kind of do her karate kicks all the way up, but she can't. She can go about that high. What's really cool about her spider legs, if you're into that sort of thing, is that each of the tips of the spider legs, you can rotate them around like this, and each of the tips can hold a blast effect. 
So, like, that four <laughs> or five or <laughs> guns, you can do that. That's the only thing that would make me want to use Blast Effects even a little bit, and I still don't want to. That's why I haven't done it for you. You're, you're going to you get a whole pile of Blast Effects. I think you're going to get those Christian. 19. You can put them on there. You get your choice. You know, I was is that how many it is? Today, 19. Got, 19 with Tricranius, yes. I, uh, I gathered all of my Blast Effects and put them in a bag by themselves so that they wouldn't you know, rot the plastic of any toys around them in my bin. Yeah, I'll have to talk to you about that later. I think I'm starting to notice a mark for one of my blast effects already because I've been experimenting with it. Interesting. Got double knees, which is partly for transformation, but she can do that, which is cool. It's good that she has that, though. Yeah. I, I have no complaints about this figure at all. She's wonderful. She is Black Arachnia. I will not need another Black Arachnia, at least in this form. Uh, Transmetal, yes. Horicon, yes. Beast Machines, maybe. We'll see. Beast Machines' original figure was perfect as it is. They it already was made not. her the it best was actually she possibly really could. really terrible. Really fantastic. It is probably one of the worst figures I've ever encountered. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. My favorite Black Arachnia, even owning the MP. Well, we all know about your taste, Anna. They're, just, they're good. My tastes are yeah. good. Yeah, Sorry, guys, I don't have much more to say about Black Arachne. I mean, she's she's great. She's got, I think that's pretty uh, solid, though. Like, she yeah, just yeah. looks like a good Black Arachne toy. She, she's a good yeah. Black Arachne toy. She, she looks the part. She transforms the part. The paint is great. Um, yeah. Ah, here's the question, then. Let's say I liked importing figures that are relatively expensive. And I got myself an LG Black Arachnia that was um, a modified version of the animated mold to yeah. turn into mm -hmm. original Black Arachnia. Would I need to replace that yes. with this one? Okay. Yep, I did. I would say, yeah. Don't replace your original animated one, because that's doing a different thing. But the LG one, yeah. I don't have the LG go. one, so I was just kind of curious what you guys thought. I do! Yeah, time for her to go. Kick I have the animated the one, which I really like, but... Yeah, I think get rid of the LG one, get rid of the Masterpiece one. This is it for you. This is it for anybody. Maybe don't get rid of the Masterpiece one. Maybe check Definitely. first to see if there's get things you like about it. <laughs> Or you can get this one and this then as dark design colors or whatever color she was when she took over that flying island. That I would buy that. I don't remember what episode that was, but I would buy her in those colors. I just want to get a repaint that's interesting of her. Like I know we could just get like variants of black or acne colors, but I hope we get something clever. Halloween horror cons. Also, that would RC be fine for RC. I'm good with either of those. Although I would rather they just made a figure of Transmetal Black Arachnia than made the RC. That's not going to happen. I mean, that too. That too. I always wanted that Transmetal Black Arachnia, but she was really hard to get back in the day. You should get her now. You're an adult with money. I'm good. I have a Black Arachnia. Yeah, uh, go get this Black Arachnia, guys. I'm sorry. It, there's not a lot to go in depth here. She's just wonderful. Yeah, no, I mean, I think it's definitely one of the more fun, you know, black arachnias. Like, the transformation is interesting. It's a fun figure. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess, like, ranking the Beast Wars figures, I mean, this is definitely up there. Number two, I think. Who's number one? Primal. Primal's pretty good, yeah. It's like Primal, this one, mm, Air Razor, then... Megatron, Rat Trap, Cheat War. There you go. Check your ranking. <laughs> I might put Megatron above Rat Trap. I did. Oh, did you? Okay. Never mind then. I put him behind Air Razor, though. I'd put him ahead of Air Razor, too. Well, I guess now we have to fight. This is my first Beast character, so. <laughs> Air Razor so. is rigged in front of Air Razor and behind Air Razor. It's all Air Razor. Yeah, yet somehow in your rankings, Christian, you put Beast Wars Megatron like way up there. So, well, he's a great character. That toy is 
less good than the rest of the stuff in Kingdom. It looks I like it. Like, I actually have a little hesitation to get T-Rex, because I don't have the attachment that Christian has, and it just doesn't seem like the strongest figure in the world. Hey, it's pretty good. It, it's pretty good. I'm a little choosy with leaders, too, just because of the price point. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I agree with you there. Like that's, the, that's si- a, the, the room they take up. Leaders are pretty large. That that's what I was thinking is is like this black arachne is kind of like a must buy at twenty dollars. Like the Megatron, it's a little harder just because it's fifty. But yeah, I think one of the things that most feels like a slap in the face to people who bought the masterpiece black arachne is the fact that that thing's literally almost the same size. Yeah. As this one, and like so much is similar about the way she looks, you know. Like, with the if you were comparing the two Cheetors, you could find a lot of things about Masterpiece Cheetor that are more accurate than um, than Kingdom Cheetor. But if you're comparing Black Rackdias, it's really just that she has less parts, less paint. That's it. Otherwise, she's got all the same detailing. <laughs> so. I think you're better off getting that one. Unless you already have this one. So. Yeah. Yeah. Go get, go get them both. But, you know, these these Beast Wars characters are, are really good so far. These two are exemplary. And I really do think they're must-haves for Kingdom, Beast Wars, being a Transformers collector, whatever, man. Go get them. Are we, are we doing Cheetor? Are we going to do a review of him at some point? Or I guess. I have the Netflix one. Yeah, I, I don't have the Netflix one yet, so... I have no Cheetors, but I will watch you two talk about it. I, I guess we'll have to do Cheetors. I don't know, I feel, I feel like it's like one of the... Oh yeah, I forgot we did... We haven't done Warpath yet. Or we could do Warpath and Huffer. We could do Cheetor and Dinobot. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, there we can mix up with some ones that I have. Yeah, we could do like Warpath and Huffer. Because I do have Huffer, I don't have Warpath. Warpath and Huffer makes sense because they're both minibots. I don't know. I mean, that's where I went with that one. Yeah, that's what I'd say. We could probably do Dinobot and Cheetor, so. Anyway, so. But yeah, both of these guys are good. Yeah, we're fans. I think I'm fans of that Black Rack. You know, from what I've seen, I like it. You'd like her. You really should just go get her. I know you've got one already. This one's way better. You're going to like it's, it more. It's a lot more fun to fiddle with. I don't think it's better. <laughs> it's more fun to fiddle with, it's though. Different. But Air Razor, I'm on good with. 100% of Air Razor. Razor's, Air Razor's great. Birdie. I'm, a, I'm very happy that she's here. I, 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 did, I did not do the math between two versions until earlier today, and I was like, wow, it really has been that long. It has been a long time, and she's a neat character. So, our design, at least. In fact, her Transmetal toy was the first Transformer ever to be designed as female from the beginning. So sad um, it was that took that long. So, so Ron, I don't think the Black Arachne is a mini masterpiece just because it's fun to play with. So, I agreed. Many masterpieces have to be painful. Wait, then, then the very term we use many masterpiece for, I mean, Lucas does, I don't use that, <laughs> is, is Legends figures. And almost all the Legends figures are yeah. way less annoying than real masterpiece figures, they're almost all fun. Very yeah, no, I mean, I actually fun. think, I think, I think that this Black Arachne is like one of the few ones that I don't mind not having the masterpiece, if that makes sense. Well, someone mentioned just adding some um, copper paint to make her a little bit better, and like, I honestly think that's probably a better move to buy this and get some copper paint than it is to buy the MP. The MP is going to cost a lot more. Yeah. So. Uh, Book Club this week is going to be R.A.D. 31 and 32. So that is Sunday nights at 8.30 Central, 9.30 Eastern on the uh, (laughs) TF Talk Discord. I think you guys have done R.A.D. a lot of weeks in a row. Just two, actually. Just two. I feel like it's three. No, it's just two. We did more than MCI two weeks ago. I know, because I skipped it. Wow. Yeah, maybe I'll show up for the... More than me, CI one, so yeah, we'll see. Come next week. 
so. there's a running gag in book club of how many times each of you have said you'll show up for book club at one point zero <laughs> times i have said that zero times I, i've said it a fair amount so i guess it's said it a fair amount of times yeah i have a conflict on, at that exact time every sunday so no i've never said i was coming well, you're still so, invited, even though you can't be you. there. I appreciate it. But close if my conflict time, ever people. dissolves, I will show up. Oh. All right. Well, um, thank you, everyone, in the chat tonight. Uh, thanks to uh, Ron and Jacob and uh, Randall, Paul, Josh, Jason, uh, Bedford. Oh, hey, Bedford. Thanks for joining again. So, yeah. Thanks, All everyone. Right. It was good to see, well, good to see your words. <laughs> yep. So, thanks, guys, and we'll see you next week.